Madison's theater study released last month suggested different strategies to help the industry grow its business. Well, today, promoters in the music theater capital are beginning to take that advice and run with it. Color 10's Jacob Blood is live with more in Branson. Jacob, tell us uh, what's changed in the theater business in Branson since that study first came out. Well, David, just today, the Song of Hope concert featured multiple local artists who performed at Choices Concert Hall. And also, a new show has been announced on the Strip, and it will be performed by a Grammy Award-winning artist. The Song of Hope movement, led by Marshall Howden, put one of the theater studies plans into action this afternoon with a concert featuring 15 local artists. We wanted to, for a few years now, put together a big concert extravaganza. You know, I got my cowboy hat on, so I might call it a hootin' nanny or a hoedown, something like that. But yeah, we've got a lot of great entertainers coming and basically showing their support for live music shows in Branson. Another suggested strategy from the theater study was for Branson to bring in new shows with well-known talents to attract a different audience. I'm Well, today, Grammy Award-winning artist Rhonda Vincent announced her new show is coming to the Andy Williams Moon River Theater starting November 10th. I have never done this before, but I am so excited. We normally stay home for Christmas, but this year uh, we're going to be here in Branson, Christmas in Branson. Rhonda Vincent is used to touring around the country, but she is excited about her new residency and producing a new show in an area she is very familiar with. I kind of grew up here as a teenager, you know, at Silver Dollar City. So, and have performed here at Silver Dollar City and, uh, and so many other places in Branson. So, but my first time here, and it's really, it's kind of a challenge. I am, I'm excited about the creation of a show. Janet Miner, membership and community relations manager for the Branson Chamber of Commerce, says Vincent's Christmas show will help bring in additional tourists at the end of the year. You know, this is our sh shoulder season, and we want to be a destination 12 months out of the year, and she's going to be a big help for that, being here in November and December. And Janet Miner with the Chamber right there also told me that if Vincent's holiday show does well, it could attract more big-time names to have some new shows in the area. Reporting live from Branson, this is Jacob Blunt, Ozarks First.